right guys, I'm here at a little project. Well, actually this home is a home we've uh, been doing work on quite a bit over the past few years. It's one of our best customers and her name is Ann. And I uh, wanted to come out while it was raining. Of course, I picked a pretty heavy rain to come out in uh, to show off her new rain barrel system. And uh, we just put a new roof on her home. And you can see here, all this water is going to waste. Uh, this water is just running off. And one of the things you find about heavy rainstorms like this is that it will rain cats and dogs for a very short amount of time. And the water will just run off quickly. Well, if you have a rain harvesting system, you can capture that rain and it won't run off so quickly so what we did was we put up the old uh, style gutter the old half round gutter to match this style of architecture the old bungalow a friend of the family came out and installed this uh, rain harvesting system here he's got a filtering system there on the downspout now one thing I have uh, recommended that they install is a scupper or a leaf catcher right there. I'll, and I'll insert a picture of what I'm talking about right there. Let's go over and see. It's only been raining for about 15 or 20 minutes. And you can see the rain barrel. And that's a 250 gallon, I think it's 250 gallon or 300 gallon tank. So in about 20 minutes, and that shows you what kind of rain we're looking at here. This tank is almost half full. It's built on a very, substantial frame here. These are six by six posts, or they look, look like four by six posts. And there's footings underneath the mulch there. And you can see Ann has quite a nice garden. She wants to keep that watered, even when it's not raining. And it's been about two weeks since we've had any decent rain. You can see this part, the bottom of the tank is about four and a half feet off the ground. So she's gonna have quite a bit of uh, pressure there. That she can run this pretty much pretty much all the way up that, that side of the house to this garden and all the way obviously to the back because it slopes downhill even further from there looks like she's got some raspberries growing let's go down here lots of tomatoes just a nice little garden well kept. This is some stuff we've worked on over the years. If I can keep the camera dry. So it's just a really nice place. And it's a perfect, uh, perfect example of where your rain harvesting works well. In a storm like this, you might have two or three inches of rain come down in 30 minutes to an hour and it all just runs off. And if you don't have a way to capture it, you've lost it. Because uh, it's been so dry, the water just runs off quickly. Okay, I'm up here on the dry part now, <laughs> under the porch. You can see here how much water is running off the roof that we're not capturing. And I'm going to talk to her. Maybe we can get her to do another smaller rain barrel for up here, because she's got quite a neat little garden in the front here. Okay, that'll situate that little project for a while. You know, the uh, cost associated with the rain harvesting can really be anywhere in your budget. Because, you know, uh, this home was needing gutters anyway, so I really wouldn't count the cost of the guttering, which was around $600. In, in the project cost because you know most likely a home that you've got is already going to have gutters there so really you're just looking at the cost of the barrel and any kind of distribution system and filters which really if you're just going to use it for a garden and you're not going to be drinking the water it could just be something as simple as a downspout leading into a rain barrel it doesn't have to be complicated it's been about two weeks since we've had any rain and uh, it was getting depressing there for a while. But see, this is how we get it 
in our area, it's either no rain or all the rain that comes down and, and just jets away over the streets and through the sewers and it's gone. So get those rain barrels out there, people. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you.